Daryl Hall revealed he was blindsided by his bandmate John Oates' decision to secretly sell his share of a joint business venture to a third party in newly unsealed legal docs, RadarOnline.com has learned. Hall said he wasn't made aware until two days before he was hitting the road for a tour, having filed a lawsuit and restraining order against his longtime partner in a spat relating to their extensive music catalog. In his filing, Hall speculated that Oates opted for the timeline to coincide with the start of his tour to ambush him and cause the maximum amount of harm. Hall claimed the sale violates the terms of a business agreement forged years ago. The restraining order was a move by Hall to block the sale of his bandmates half of Whole Oats Enterprises, WOE, a company they had formed to control their assets. The temporary restraining order was issued on November 16, with a judge determining that Oates and others involved in his trust can't move to close the sale of their share until an arbitrator weighs in or until the judge's order expires. I have no intention of becoming partners with Primary Wave, and, Oates, cannot be permitted to thrust a new partner upon me in this outrageous fashion, Hall argued in the docs, explaining that he fears Primary Wave may exploit copyrights and trademarks. RadarOnline.com should note that Primary Wave has already owned significant interest in Hall and Oates' song catalog for more than 15 years, according to the Associated Press. As we previously reported, Oates was slated to take the stage in Colorado and Arizona on November 9th and 10th, but his shows were abruptly postponed until 2024. Hall, on the other hand, recently performed in Tokyo. The musicians have further carved their own paths over the last year, with each doing solo tours that include their own work as well as some of their biggest hits together including Private Eyes, I Can't Go For That, No Can Do, and Maneater. The duo has a lot of history going back to the early 1970s when the band was formed. Hall shed light on his professional relationship with Oates in a September 2022 podcast appearance, describing his bandmate as his business partner. He's not my creative partner, Hall said on Club Random with Bill Maher. John and I are brothers, but we are not creative brothers. We are business partners. We made records called Hall and Oates together, but we've always been very separate, and that's a really important thing for me, 